What up, Long Beach? Welcome back to GazetteSports.com. It's Tyler. And JJ. And this high school basketball video is brought to you by the fine folks at Naples Rib Company. Back in the wood, a couple of teams, Cabrillo and Lakewood, looking for their first Moore League win of the season, ready to get this one underway and get off the schneid. Yeah, Lakewood at home, that's where you want to get off the schneid, in front of your friends and family, and it's going to come down to guys like Nigel Hale and Trey Pruitt to actually put the biscuit in the basket. Tylen Douglas, he knows all about biscuits and baskets and everything like that. He was an athlete of the week of ours last week, ready to do work. Cabrillo looking for their first Moore League win in 20 tries. It's been almost two years. Jags off and cooking with uh, Tylen Douglas right there getting the bucket thanks to Ricky Schneider. Those two, uh, quite the tandem in the early going, and Lakewood's offense on the other side wasn't exactly pretty, JJ. Well, no, but it's stick to that gets it done in high school basketball sometimes, and Lakewood had plenty of that. But Schneider, he finds a spot over there, and twice from the same place on the floor, back-to-back -back triples, he had eight points in the first quarter. Did we mention the glass work from the Lancers outdoing the Jags 42 to 17? Much of that was on offense, Pruitt with the first bucket, and then eventually Miles Davis. He likes the sound of the glass. Indeed he does, playing jazz with that offensive rebound, but off the turnover, Pruitt gets the layup, and he had 12 points and nine, nine rebounds. Lake was off and cooking as well, right? Yeah, well, Tylen Douglas had something to say about that. That is a beautiful move. He was the star of this night. So smooth, looking uh, comparatively to Victor Basket Robbins at Compton, and then hits the triple right here. He was six of six in the first half for 14 points. Oh, that is... Don't do it to him, young fella. <laughs> absolutely abused, but it was just a six-point game heading into the break, but Douglas was not done. That is definitely his spot. He loves that corner three. He continued to score in the second half, and then Antonio Singleton with a tough and one. Cabrillo starting to take over as more guys get going. Yeah, and these were the games that Cabrillo would give up. So Lakewood, you know, often rebounding, trying to get them buckets to get them back in this game. It's just not happening. And then the Jags get a big steal, and Jordan Augustus a gloop that layup in. <laughs> Indeed, and you see right here, this is just the kind of night it was. You get the ball down low, but you just cannot execute and get the points. It was really tough, and then Schneider... Uh, a little floater and one, an impressive play right there. He had 12 points, and you got to close it with Douglas. A beautiful backdoor cut. Nice pass. He lays it in. Game high 20 points for 10. He was 8 of 11 shooting from the floor, and Cabrillo gets that big more league win that they've been waiting for for a while. Douglas and Schneider, both juniors. More wins to come for the Jaguars, I think. And they will try to get one on Friday at home against the Compton Tar Babes. That is going to be an exciting game. While Lakewood on Friday night will be at defending champion Polly. you got to stay with us at GazetteSports.com. This will be a fun more league boys basketball season. The only place to follow it the right way is right here at GazetteSports.com. Come.